Alright, so I've never really done one of these videos, but let's have a look at my Genshin account after three years. I've never really done an account review or a account look at... I'm not really even sure what to call this, uh, but let's just go through everything that I have. This is my first time doing this. And so, what do I have after being a day one player and playing this game for practically about three years now? I think coming up on three years uh, soon-ish. Uh, what do I have? Uh, well, let's start off with the characters, obviously, because that's a great starting point. Well... As we can see, Nahida here. She's an absolute great character. Got her weapon and whatnot. Constellation, four. Got a Yaya Miko, C0, Kazuha Z0. A bit of a Zhong Li moment. Very good. Raiden Shogun, C0. A lot of my characters are C0. The five stars that I mainly have are all C0. Hu Tao, Venti, Shen He, Kaching has C1, Tignari has C1. Obviously, the Traveler, the Goat himself. Tartaglia, Deluke. Uh, we have Kaya. This is obviously in no particular order because this is just their levels. Yao Yao, Jing Cho is at C6. Bennett, C5 as per usual. If you have him C6, you're an absolute rebel. Uh, you got uh, Mrs. Zhang Ling, Noel, Jean, C1. I'm very surprised that I even have this. I probably I, I shouldn't, but unfortunate. Aloy, as per usual, no constellations. A bit of a, a bit of a terrible character. Deya, obviously a great character as we all know. We've got a, a C3, Yanjin, Ning Wang, Rosaria, Chong Yun, Kuki Shinobu, I got it recently, very happy about that one. Kujo Sara, also never used, but probably good. Fischl, Razor, as per usual, Lisa. Got Kave recently, and building him recently. Uh, Kole, Barbara, Toma, Yenfei, a fan favorite of mine, but uh, haven't used her in about forever. Jin Yuan, Jin Yuan? Jin Yan, rather. Uh, Amber, Beidou, Chi Chi, Goro, Sayu, Sucros. Uh, what's this cat lady's name again? Um, cat lady. Uh, Diona, Layla, Faruzan, and the infamous Dory. A bunch of characters are literally from a, about the gene and backwards. I pretty much don't use any of these characters just as an FYI. I don't really use them. I only use about a select eight characters. Pretty much all these characters that are at the forefront of my uh, account I, are the only ones that I really use because they're the only ones that interest me. And I think my character gain and my characters that I have on this account are quite good. I've built up a lot of them quite well. I won't go into the specific builds because if we were going to do that, this video would be about 78 hours long uh, because I've got a lot of artifacts and a lot of decent builds. We just know that most of them are built mostly okay at best. But let's go uh, into some other areas. Most of my characters also, by the way, uh, if if I, they're at the forefront, they're most likely triple crowned. Like my Nahida is triple crowned, so is my Yaimiko, she's double crowned, almost triple crowned. Kazuha, I should triple crown him. Zhongli, double crowned. Raiden Shogun, triple crowned. Ye Yelan, triple. Hu Tao, triple. And I believe there's... Is there one more triple crown? Is it Shen He triple? No, Shen He's a, a double crown. Oh, sorry, a single crown. My apologies. I can't even read my own screen that I'm looking at. Uh, but yeah, most of them are built like that just because I like to make singular characters as powerful as I possibly can uh, and not try to support them in any way because I like playing games the hard way. But those are my characters. I think I have a pretty good array of characters. And those who are curious as to like what is my investment in this game financially, I would classify myself as a very low spender, I think. I don't know what the fucking Welkin Moon and Battle Pass is classified as when you only get those two things. I guess that's low spender. I'm not sure. I don't really pay attention to this whole whale, dolphin, bull crap. But that is how much. And that's what's gotten me uh, uh, all these characters here. Kind of unlucky, kind of lucky for the most part. Who knows? Um, I would have liked a few other characters. If you can tell, my cryo teams are very weak. But it's a pretty good array of characters. Now, uh, the other part we can take a look at is weapons. Like, obviously, five-star weapons are... Uh, massive factor in a lot of these things and what five star weapons do we have well aqua simulacra which is uh, what's her face's weapon yelan's then we have nahida's weapon then we have not ning wang's weapon but it is her best in slot i think uh we have thundering uh, lightning weapon and golfing lightning we have calamity quella for shen he we have primordial jade wing spear for hu tiao i very much want to invest in a stuff homer the next time it's up but i fear the next time it's up will be maybe the next patch after Obviously, during the recording of this video, that's going to be a 3.8, I believe. I think Hu Tao might be up here there, but don't quote me on anything. Then we have Deluxe Wolf's Gravestone. Got the Lights Folia just recently for uh, not Kaching specifically. Don't, I'm not using Kaching. It's just honor because Kaching is a DPS. 
Uh, I'd probably put this on anything else if I had any other sword characters. I probably might even build a Kaya for it, but yeah, that's there. Then we have Freedom Sworn, just got this one, this patch for my Kazuha, made him a lot stronger. We have an, an R3 Skyward Blade uh, for our Bennett, which is doing absolutely nothing for him. We got a Skyward Pride on Chongyun. Recently also got a Skyward Harp for our Tignari, that's going to jump on him after, because we're using the Ibis Piercer. And we got the Skyward Pride. I probably should combine these, but I don't feel like it. Now, 5-star weapons are all fine and dandy, but I'm much more proud of having a lot of these uh, limited time weapons, like the Ibis Piercer. Uh, and then we have also got, where is it? Sorry, the Catch, which is not limited time, but it's kind of tedious to get. Also have the Luxurious Sea Lord, the Festering Desire, which was the original weapon that we got from the events. And then after that, we've got some absolute um, donkey dog ones, which is something like the Mailed Flower, which is not 10 out of 10. It's okay. The Cinnabar Spindle, which is only good for Albedo. Hopefully a new defense character is added in the future. Then we have the Fading Twilight, which is okay at best. Oath's Sworn Eye is dog crap. Uh, and then, I think is there another one after this that is um that was like a limited time one? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, don't pay attention to why I have just two extra Serpent Spines, even though I have an R5 on up here. Don't pay attention to that. I, um, I made some mistakes and uh, I wasn't paying attention for two patches, apparently. And uh, it accidentally happened. Also, I forgot to mention the Tokubo Shigure, which is obviously a great one for uh, absolutely fucking nobody. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to point out some of these weapons because uh, I'm very proud of those weapons. Now, other than those things that you can look at it, um, resources. I'm very good on resources here. I, this is going to be a very weird video. I might not even edit this video. Who the hell knows? I might just ring this one up as a standalone fucking spiel. But we've got a lot of things, a lot of collectibles, a lot of fishing rods. Uh, I like Sarush as a collectible, but we also got the Cloud Retainer. Very proud to have the Shiki Koshu uh, because of um, Labyrinth Warriors being one of my favorite events in Genshin, but it no longer appearing. We also got the Endora, which is a very adorable uh, little pet thingy. And anything else here, limited time? I don't believe so. Just a bunch of these mini sealies, which are mostly irrelevant. Uh, I think three is the maximum you can own right now uh, if you've played since the start, but then again, I could also be lying. Uh, other than that, we just kind of load up on materials. I don't play this game as often uh, to, to grind resources as I used to. So, obviously, I don't have as many resources as I, as I hoped. But, listen, I can pretty much level up a character to max within a reasonable amount of time. So, I'm kind of fine on that. Uh, the more proud thing I am is having a bunch of artifacts that are practically useless. If I just kind of unhook my scroll wheel and just kind of scroll it down for a bit. I'll just have a plethora of bull crap and absolute ass hattery of artifacts. And it absolutely feels terrible that most of these are pretty useless. Uh, that obviously is a very, very nice thing to see. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm not living the best life on artifact level, but hey, it is what it is. You take what you can get, and you get what you can take. Other than that, I think this account is pretty good. I'm not really trying to flex. I just thought it would be kind of cool to look at my uh, account. Most of my stuff is done. Most of every, all the exploration in the world is done. I think I did a few streams of getting 100% in all of Mondstadt, then we did all of Sumeru. Obviously, a Dragon Spine is a bit more tedious because you can't use the compass, so I have kind of said hell no to that one. All of Leeway, rather, is uh, maxed out. All of, uh, I believe, all of uh, this place. What's this one called again? Inazuma is maxed out, except Watatsumi Island. Again, I can't be asked to go to the water zones. I kind of abhor water traversal in this game. And then we have Sumeru. Not all of it's maxed out because I kind of got lazy with Sumeru as the game got very boring at this point. And I kind of was just logged on just, you know, just for having a bit of combat fun. So these areas aren't maxed out, but they're close enough to 100 for me to be okay with it. Um, I think Chasm is also mostly done. I think Underground is 100%, but the surface it isn't. And then obviously Ankunomiya is an existence in there uh, for the most part. And I think mostly uh, the other thing I'm proud of, having uh, in the bank right now 63,000 gems. Absolute flexing that one right there on people who are watching this video. That's uh, 63,000 gems in the bank right now. And generally speaking, been able to 36 star Spiral Abyss uh, most, of, most of the time. I can always 36 star it if I really try, but to be fair with you guys, uh, with the design that they are putting into Spiral Abyss, I have not really tried that many times. I think right now I have 35 stars, I think. Yeah, we're right now sitting at 35 stars, and the only one that's really doing it for me and may, like, making me fail is the final chamber of floor four i'm uh, not floor four sorry what the fuck did i say floor four for i mean final chamber of floor 12 um floor four that's like level 20s or something like that uh, the final chamber of floor 12 is just absolutely um abhorrent at least in my opinion and i haven't really been able to kind of find the will to attempt it again so i've kind of just stuck myself here 
And uh, that's, I guess, my account review. I don't even know what to call this video. This might, if this is uploaded, that's this absolute travesty of a video. Uh, but that's my account. It's pretty goaded. Uh, I can pretty much get through any content in a, in a jiffy. And I'm kind of looking forward to making it even more powerful with a potential C6 of the uh, Hydra Archon. Because that's obviously going to be overpowered as fuck. So, uh, with that, I guess, thanks for watching. Uh, if you did watch it, I guess. Bye.